I'm just going to see if I have to do the intro every time or if you're going to say something. I was just looking at you. People, the viewers are going to see that. Do you want me to do the intro? Just say something so people... Hey, guys. What is up, guys? What is going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you just really need a shirt. Well, I just wanted to toss out three different Whoa. intros so we can pick. What happened? What happened? It just hit a three city on him. Um, dude, we have such a low test. budget podcast, dude. It's kind of embarrassing. We spent all our money on these new XLR cables. If just so you guys have something to look at, mine is blue. He has red. There's no significance to anything, but we have green, purple, orange, and yellow. So we can actually mix it up based and on our moods. And then when June comes around, we can do um we can't, we rainbow. Can't, we can't. We're not going to do that. There's no rainbow. Is my mic quieter than yours? Ah, uh, we did this last episode, dude. We've been over this. You can't do the same. Is it a bit? Are you doing a bit? It's not a bit. Dude, it's the bit, bro. Finish the bit. Finish the bit. <laughs> Finish the bit, bro. We got it. Wow. Bit has to be no more bits 2024. David Dobrik ruined that word for me. He said bit. His whole thing was bits. His whole life was a bit. But he never said it. Did he? He did. He would tell people, hey, bro. Corinna, Corinna, you have to strip naked for a bit. You have to. <laughs> it's satire. Don't Jonah, worry. Jonah, be fat for the bit. Be fat for the bit. <laughs> Corinna, show me your boobs for it's satire. Satire, <laughs> show me the boobs. Is this satire? Question mark. <laughs> We're losing it. We're in 2024. Corinna. We gotta leave those words behind. Corinna Kampf, just freaking show me. Just get naked for the for the it's satire. It's for the bit. It's for the vlog. Do, <laughs> do it's for the vine. That's the, that's that's what it is. The evolution. It's for the vine. For the vlog. The next one should be for the pod. For the pod, <laughs> dude. That's you know we are we do that though. We dressed up as L, like I dressed up as an elf. You were Santa. I was Taylor Swift. You right were right before we did it. Right before we were like, let's just do it for the pod, bro. And we fist bump. Yeah. Well, look, it got us some clips, and it's getting us some an, an audience, enough of an audience to actually Warner a live podcast show at York University. Yeah. So how exciting! If you're seeing this, the tickets might be live. If just how about this? You see this, and then look at the time, five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could check the Instagram on Out of Character Pod. It's going to be our first ever live event. So that's kind of our um, uh, disclaimer, but it's actually for charity. So we're allowed to bomb and do as bad as we want. So, yeah, I'm nervous. It's our first. It's fir nervous. I'm really nervous. I got no. butterflies in my stomach dancing around flying right around. now. Well, just thinking about talking in front of that many people because this is easy because it's a camera, but I can't imagine seeing seeing who the audience is. We get to actually see who it is. Are they old men? Are they? We don't know. What it's what's gonna happen is this. I'll give you a play by play analysis here. We're gonna go. It's gonna be all women, and immediately we have to Matt Rife it, and and we have to set a standard that mm -hmm. we don't fuck with them very quickly, mm -hmm. or else they can come back and and bite us. That's gonna be the scenario. We're gonna be like, okay, dang it, my mic it feels quieter. I don't know. I remember this distinctly from last episode. So how the hell? I think it's because of this thing. Hello, I'm Whoa. naked. <laughs> Bro took off the dom. <laughs> but this is gonna not protect the pa. Ooh, I heard. No, it. that's not good. Put that back on. He said, "Talk back to me." Guys, always use protection when it comes to audio. When it comes to anything yeah. else, put protection on your on your microphone. Ooh, it's like an innuendo. It's a double entendre. Put some protection on your microphone. I What's this called? What's that called? I don't get it. What's that called? It's a microphone. No, the the puff thing. I don't know, Martin. Why are you? What's is this worth it? For the bit, for the bit, <laughs> do the bit for the satire for the bro. pod. Um, yeah. So it's gonna be there. So, uh, come and the money goes to charity, and it's just gonna be a good time. It's not that deep. So yeah, York University. That's where it's mm -hmm. gonna be. So uh, if you're in the GTA, it might be worth it for you. If not, that's okay. Yeah. Some people might ask, you know, what charity it is for homeless people? Well, I, well, unhoused, I think. I, I don't know. It's for uh, it's blankets for Toronto organization. Well, the acronym is a BTO, but it's blankets for Toronto. Is it organization the O? We don't know, but maybe it's just is for this, the bit. Is this a scam? We don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna show up and do our best. When well, what more do you want? This reminds me of whenever I. Well, uh, when I moved to Canada and I was, I went to high school for like five, four months, tw mm -hmm. like 12th grade, senior year. And I was in an English class and I had to give a presentation to just a class of people, like a room of people I didn't know. And 
It was an out of body experience. It always is, dude. Speaking in front of en- any group of people, it just feels like you're not even in control of your own body. Yeah, that's what it feels like, right? But it's that's not always bad. No, it's it means that you're like you're almost on automatic mode. Yeah, I was fully automatic, but I really didn't care. I've had ones where I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. I've had one, I had one when I was talking about the crisis in Uganda. I think Ooh, I've talked about that's this that's nerve wracking, especially if you have a couple of Ugandans in the audience. I had a couple of friends of mine who were not Ugandan, but they were trying to make me laugh. Was the problem? The problem was I pulled up this tweet. I've, I think I talked about this on the Patreon like a year ago. But I had a slide where I was like, this is how bad the situation is. Mm-hmm. Here's a tweet from the official Pizza Hut Uganda account. And it was like, the tweet was like, the chef has left the kitchen and he's protecting and he's shooting everyone. And it's like a picture of like like a, a cashier at a Domino's with a gun in Uganda. And... I discovered live in front of everyone that it was, it clicked in my head. I was like, this is so fake. Yeah. Uh, but I was being serious. <laughs> and the teacher got so mad because they thought I was like making light of this. They're like, that's yeah. not real, Hums. And I'm like, yeah, it is. It's pretty bad out there, dude. Oh, but you're just, okay. Yeah. You are someone who believes a lot. Remember that one thing? What did you send me? I'm a believer. When Lil Yachty fall, uh, added you <laughs> to his close friends. Like you believe that. Because why not? I want to be in a world where I where people don't lie. So I have to, I have to do it for first. Dude, liars are the worst. Liars are the worst. They are the worst. We should start saying in real life slash J slash lie slash lie when you lie. Yeah, because it's like I don't know. Like, what are we doing? Like, everyone should be truthful. We should all drink truth serum, so we can always tell the truth. I think so, and uh, also in the same one. There was like a picture I pulled up of like a disfigured child and somehow my parent, my friends made me laugh. My parents didn't make me laugh. I don't know. I almost said parents. Mm. But this time we're not going to do that. Can you imagine? Like this is for the homeless. (laughs) No, I, that's what I was saying. I was like, if we do this, we can't, I don't even want to. Look at you. I'm not going to look at you. Yeah. We're going to, it's going to be the most PG podcast possible. And we are going to be. And super respectful and yeah. yeah of course and one of the tips that they say is to picture you naked so if you want to come naked just to start off mm-hmm. just to get the ball rolling help us ease our imagination yeah 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 fun. yeah no it'll be a fun time um can i just here what are you doing right. that, there was a, you had an eyelash on your cheek now you have to make a wish i wish that one day there will be no more liars and also that i that I also get one hundred and thousand dollars, and I also wish that all my friends and my family live a long and happy life, and I also wish for a PS Five. Okay, nice. I probably need to take out a couple more eyelashes for that. I was I was pushing it. Yeah, right. it'll look like that one actor from Lost. Forgot what his name was, but he just has no eyelashes. Okay. Um, that's a deep cut if you ever watched Lost. Um, no. Carl, oh my gosh, he almost freaking knocked over my plant pot. God, this cat is crazy. Dude, let him do it. It's satire. Carl, is it satire? He's doing a bit for the pod. Come on. <laughs> my whole family is doing bits. Family? Yeah, my pets are part of my family. Don't they sleep with me. Again. They're family. I don't like that. that. You just said that. You're just mad because you're not in my family. I No, you don't have a family. Your family right now is your mom, your dad, and your brother. This is not your family, you freak. Where's your, mo- where's your mom at? Where's your where's your family? <laughs> How did you gentrify <laughs> that boy? <laughs> where's your mom at? <laughs> Where your mom's at? Where's your mom at? No, I that's somehow more untrustworthy than where your mom at. Where's yeah, that's literally at? that's a child pred walking up to someone playing in a playground. Yeah. Little kid. Where's your mom at? That was a baller <laughs> abbreviation also. How'd you just do that? What? Pred? pred? You've that sounded experienced. Have you done that before? I've busted a few preds. Where's your mom at? Few, I've been around oh. a few preds. Um on TikTok, of course, there's some I had some mutuals that were considered preds. I had to cleanse them. Can we predict the future preds? The president. The future president? Yeah, let's predict the future Ooh. president. So we can we can be kind of apolitical about this because or is that a Seth word? Now it is. It in. is. That's it a, is that a word. Good that I just did it there, because we're Canadian and we live in Canada, so it doesn't matter. So okay, Trump. We want Trump to win again because for the well, bit. You, you st- <laughs> 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 we 
We want Trump to win for the freaking satire of it all. Like that. No, we want Trump to win so that he could be the president so that we can maybe message him or something and say, hey, remember this guy that you deported? Can he come back? Oh, because mm -hmm. Joe Biden doesn't remember because he didn't deport me. So yeah. I'm not up to it's date meaning, It's meaningless files. to him. But with Trump, maybe he sees your name and says, oh, yeah. Oh, you're famous now. Okay, cool. Oh, and you also did uh, for charity and, and at York University. Okay, so you contribute back to the to the world. Uh, okay, deal. Yeah, dude, that's going to be exciting. I can't wait. Or otherwise, we have to wait till November 2025, which is not that far away. Yeah, you're right. It's not that far away. I it's remember really you, I remember I was kind of crying a little bit. I was like, seriously? That's so long. Yeah, he's going to stop the recording somehow. Okay, here. Give him one to me. Um, yeah, that, that's going to be very soon. But Trump, you know, they're saying it's 100% basically guaranteed Trump to 2024. What do you Dang think about it. that? Guarantee? Guarantee or your money Who's back. Who's guaranteeing it? The, f the like, stock market or something. The, the, they have polls. They have these things called polls. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it works, but in essence, I believe they just do, like, a practice run of voting, and they keep doing it. But I don't know anyone who... Do you know people who do polls? Who's doing the polls? Strippers. I don't know. Dude, I think... I think if Hassan was watching this right now, who's Hassan? He would have um he would be really upset. Who's Hassan? Do you know who Hassan is? Hassan ABI? ABI? He's a dude, seriously, you don't know him? Who's Hassan? He's our savior, our Lord, our Lord and savior. He's going to help us all. I don't know who look, that is. Look, he look, if he was watching this right now, he'd be severely upset at what we're saying right now because he's just like, "Hey, you guys don't know what you're talking about. We don't, and we know that." So stop I do know what so I'm So stop hot holding our opinions to the high standard enough. Stop, we just want to have stop, fun. Stop, stop, stop. Speak for yourself. Okay. You <sighs> think your opinions matter? Yes. Seriously? Why You're a man I, with a podcast. Why did I get You're a man with a podcast. You're a man with a podcast. Why did I get into this business if I don't think uh yeah, I I am going to stand by what I said. Trump 2024. Um That's crazy. 2024. It seemed so far away for so long. Now we're here. We're finally here. We're in the future. Trump 2024, it is actually predicted, so don't even vote if you're a liberal because it's going to be pointless. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think liberal is derogatory. Liberal? Don't even vote if you're a liberal. I think it's Democrat is the correct. Is liberal a mean word now? No, we use it in Canada still. Maybe we need to Seriously? catch up with the Seriously? Like actually use it? Like yeah. I'm a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Liberal. You it does sound can, like a little bit silly, catch doesn't me it? Walking around saying I'm a liberal. Lib. I'm a liberal. Well, look, maybe no. we should change it to something else, like maybe wokey. <laughs> I don't know. There has to be a better name for these. For these, because you know what it is. It's a little bit intimidating when I hear liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican. Oh, 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 I need easy, fun words. Quick, quick. Good guys, bad guys. Yes, good guys, bad guys. But there's, they're all Or bad colors. Guys. Red, blue. Which one are you on? What team are you on? Like, you capture know, the flag. <laughs> what do you know about the donkey and the elephant? No, I don't know what that Those is. Those are the mascots of Republican and Democrat. At least in the U.S. As on everything. I don't remember which so one. So just two animals that spew shit everywhere. I don't remember which one it is. Um, Republican. I'm looking it up. Mascot. I think that's fake. The elephant that you're talking about? Elephant. I feel like that's a the fake elephant one. is is widely recognized symbol of the Republican Party, pop made popular by cartoonist Thomas Nast. Huh. And then the donkey is for the Democrats. Wow. Two just crazy animals to pick. Like, why didn't we do, like, lions and tigers? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? Elephants and donkeys? Well, if an elephant Fringe. was personified into a human and a donkey was personified into a human... I'm picking the elephant. They have great memory. They have very tough skin, leather skin, because of the rain in Africa. The rain down in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. Um, yeah, well, I think I think we settle for red and blue. I think red and blue, that's what it should be because it's like capture the flag. It's simple. Everyone knows that game, and that is what it is, is capturing the flag. The red team tries to capture the U.S. flag. So yeah, does the blue I team. Like that. I like that. That's kind of how they see the international politics as well. They go to another country, 
Who can capture it first? And that's what it should be is when they do win, they should put the flag. It should change to the colors of the party. So, so if, everyone knows. So if Republicans win, then they paint the town red. Yes. So Doja Cat's a Republican. Ah. We, we cracked the freaking case. You did it, dude. Seriously, you're so smart. Um, um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not a big political person and you know, I still vote. You of course can't be in Canada. This is so different. It's silly. It's, it's so a mini boring. game. It's, it's like not fun. You know, there's something about having five parties. That's not fun. I want it to be the Super Bowl Every time I vote, it's freaking the Packers versus mm -hmm. the freaking Los Angeles Dolphins, like killing it. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 ooh. That's what I want. I don't want to go in there and see five people each with 15% a pop. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick one that. You know, edges over the other one. Pause. Edging. I said pause. I caught you before you said it. I don't know if you did. So I think that's the future of it. Maybe it more. I think it's fun right now. Um, I actually am. I'm actually really well versed in politics, but not to my own. That's the thing about the chronically online. I really know a lot of it. I know about Nikki Haley's campaign. I know. I know Vivek dropped out last night. He's going to be VP. I don't know why I know this stuff. He could be VP, but um, maybe not. Mm. It, but it's such useless information, but it's just like drama to me. It's like, you know, people, there's like a breed of people who really like, um, this is I, when I found out about this truly taken back. It's like Reddit. Um, what do they call it? Snark? There's a word for it. Maybe it's that snark. It's like Reddit drama, but it's like, so deep so essentially like someone from toronto goes deep into these subreddits and they just talk about drama about like the popular kids at ucla like it's it's real what yes it's a subreddit for gossip not one it's like uh yes kind of I, I don't know i think it's one subreddit but it's like about like super normal people's gossip but everyone chimes in from everywhere and they know what's going on and it's like whoa yeah so you could have a little bit of like well, there's subreddits for everything, dude. I think there is one for TikTok stuff too. Just like TikTok? TikTok, <laughs> no, just literally just TikTok. I'm um, just shitting on TikTok influencers. There's a subreddit for that where they just post drama. That's fine. That yeah. Make, that makes more sense. I'm, yeah. I'm but it's necessary. like, but but I browsed it once because I wanted to see, and I searched our names to see if there was anything. Why did you do that? Man? And dude, there was. There was so much about you. Me? Yeah. The, any good thing? There was a po it was a clip from this podcast, and it said this guy should take this mic away from him because he really has no idea what he's talking about. So I would just refrain from talking about politics on the podcast. Seriously, we're gonna get canceled soon. Um, I think we're fine. I'm uh, I'm I'm well versed. Would uh, Would you be my vice? You know, you do you know about the vice president doesn't do anything. He has actual no tasks to do. Okay, I I'll think that's so cool. Okay, can I be that? For you? Yeah, could you do that? Yeah, I could be the vice president. Basically, you just protect my be like my six. You guard my six, and if I die, you gotta do my job. Ah, okay, I'll but do that it. That means I have to trust you enough to not kill me. Yeah, and obviously, like, just trust me around the button. You know, the big button that <laughs> they can press. Yeah. I won't press it. I won't press it unless I have to. And what would you do if you did press it? Well, it wouldn't matter. Because I press it and I can just go get a pizza or a hamburger or something and walk away. Have you seen the TikToks of like Doomsday Preppers? Um, they have an acronym also. This is also a very big subreddit. It's called uh, sh When Shit Hits the Fan. What's that acronym? When W shit shit. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not W S H F T uh, F. Yeah. W H S F. It's actually like. Could you say that one more time? I'll search it up. Okay. W S. H T F. F. Oh, T F. Yeah, see? W. Oh, no, we missed a letter. When the shit hits the fan. As a whole, Wikipedia. Um, but they're like people who are just just sitting I like idly. Fuck, Reddit loves acronyms, dude. They love it. Yeah. They love it. Am I the asshole? They love that. Oh, that one's fun. They actually killed that one. For when this is the subreddit r slash bug out, and it's for when s h t f she hits the fan. Um, it's so <laughs> interesting <laughs> because, but I could see this being me in another life and loving it too, like not anxious about it, just kind of like I can't wait. 
like a field trip that's mm. gonna happen because you know in a field trip it's just like yeah it hits the fan. well dude you are such a weird little doomsday prepper guy i mean i know that you have a, a little background of that like you bought a bunch of supplies for the yeah, end of the I world some. i got a hatchet and a life straw yeah and a you're like a newbie still but you are prepping which is uh should i start prepping you're making me anxious you would be like if you slip through it'd be bad i wouldn't know who you are anymore i'd be like marin you have to stop you'd smoking. be like ha there's no way this guy's surviving right now yeah, you've had those moments, right? You would Weren't think you. you I would, remember once you were like freaking out about the Alaska deal. Yeah, so I was. I don't, I don't want to call you out. No, I was. I was scared of it. What was the deal? I don't remember. Well, anytime something there's a petition for something, I get really scared. What was it? I don't remember. Well, they, I don't know. You forgot? I just heard that there was a petition for it, and it wasn't going to get passed. And and, and I think they were going to build a pipeline in Alaska, and it, and it was going to pollute everything, and we were all going to die. Yeah, you. Were that's really what the petition that said, one. and so if someone reads that in a petition, like I would sign the hell out of that. But did it make you nervous that feeling that it would actually happen? And yes. The end of the world. Yes, you're making me nervous right now. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that's how you got to get on. Dude, can I? Well, now. you know what I'm gonna do. Right before you're gonna close your little bunker, I'm gonna slide through, <laughs> flat Stanley style, like Maze Runner. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna slide through last second, and then, and then the thing's gonna lock because you're gonna have a bunker lock. <laughs> And we're like, hey, guess it's just me and you. Bro, I'm killing and eating you immediately. Mandy, Rudy, Carl Fish left outside of the bunker. I'm like, whoops, slipped in last second. No, man, why are you making this a reality? This is not good. It's like it's like that one movie, Cloverfield Lane. I don't know if you've watched that one. Hi Such a good movie. Sorry. Go. You see that? Clover Lane? Oh, I've been meaning to watch Cloverfield that. Cloverfield Lane. Is it good? Yeah. 24 Cloverfield Lane? Yeah. I have been meaning to watch that. Is it good? Yeah. I said that twice. All we need is me, you, and a bucket of acid. Is that the movie? Just watch it. Hypoth this is a Reddit post from this, this subreddit. Hypothetically, I need to keep one car, and I know I'm going to bug out in 2024 because Alex Jones says so. 2004 GMC <laughs> Yukon, <laughs> two-wheel drive, limo tint, off-road tires, tow hitch, 220K miles, or a 2018 Range Rover Sport, 50K miles. I'd go with the Range Rover Sport. That's just me, though. What would you do? Well, leave a comment. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm like, dude, like, seriously, if I was, if it was like apocalyptic, end of the world, I would just listen to what you said. Yeah, I know. Like, I wouldn't. Because you know I would I'd take be the lead. vice president. You'd you know be the president. I would lead. You know I would lead. You'd be the president. I'd quickly form a militia. I mean, yeah. Very quickly. You're president. I'm vice president. Maybe, can we bring Mandy in them? And yeah, and but we're going to eat Carl and Fish immediately over some nice, like, uh, over a nice fire. Even though there's not oh, much meat you hear on that, buddy? You hear that, Carl? You're going to get eaten. Oh, he's probably so tasty. Here's another post from the subreddit. Any thoughts on hats? I often see sun protection on lists of recommendation mm -hmm. of B.O.B. supplies. What does that mean? Well, he's asking for thoughts on hats. Just leave a simple comment, tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about just Yankee with no brim? I should say that. That's the one the Redditors would tin get. Tinfoil with no brim. Just say that. And, Guys, and actually, like... There's actually benefits to wearing a tinfoil hat. Reflective. Reflect on your this, thoughts. That. Obviously, government can't access your brain. Holy cow. This one's actually kind of legendary. Oh, my God. Looking to start out. Looking for a semi start over. Looking for it to start over more or less. My quote unquote wife. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get to a point in your life where you got quotes around your wife? Is planning on leaving next year. I can't follow her. Nor do I have any plans to. I can't afford the payments on this house without better a better paying job. And right now my job security is not looking great. While I'm trying incredibly hard to fix my flaws, wow. My team really does not like me at the moment for past mistakes. I'm trying to fix it, and that's what matters. But I feel like it won't amount to much in the end. If I'm fired, I'll be on the be on it'll be the third job on record. That's fine. Oh. They have like code for that. This would be my third job on record. You want you you want to be like getting paid under the table if you're a doomsday person, I guess. Oh, I don't have a friend group, no family that I'm close to, so the sky's the limit, I guess. Well, my llama, well, my llama, my wallet, really. Lol. I guess I just want to know if I'm missing anything to this bug out thing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm more of a soft enthusiast of this sort of thing, but but reality has it. That I'm pretty fucked should things hit the fan. Here's some stuff I have prepped. And then it has like everything from hammock to car battery. 
Am I missing anything? <laughs> yeah, friends. You're <laughs> missing all the stuff that you just said you're missing, and that's what you're missing. Job Are you going to spend all by yourself in a bunker? That's the thing. You know what scares me is people who are really scared of death. Like, I get it. It's fine. But if you, you know, if you're, if, a, if you get news of a meteor coming to earth mm -hmm. and our imminent death and you do anything other than drop your shoulders, relax your jaw, sit down, zone out, then you're like weird. If you don't just sit there and like, whoa. If you're scrambling around to serve a freaking <laughs> what? You're weird, man. Like, yeah. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Dude. You lived your whole life in delusion. Yes. The best way to die is to die with everyone else. That would be yeah. like, I would feel, yeah. I wouldn't feel bad at all. I'd be like, I'm not missing out. Well, that's anything. what Zuckerberg is doing. He got his whole bunker in Maui and he's just trying to oh survive. God. And I'm getting stuck with Zuck for eternity. Dude, that's what we should do. What? Slide in Scramble there? over to Maui when this is about to happen. Slide through right under the door, right as it's about to close. I guess it's just me and you, Zuck. Unfortunately, we'd be immediately turned into sex slaves. Seriously? That's going to be the currency. Event like sex. When there's not much people, that's going to be the currency. And we're going to be looking at his little freckled peen for the rest of our lives. He's going to give us the Zuck. We're gonna, he's not zucking us back, I don't think. That that would be fine if we're all swapping. Mm -hmm. No, we'd just be on zuck zuck duty for eternity. Yeah, but that what you described earlier, that that is billionaires. That, you know, that's that's what it is. They right. they want to keep all their money. They want to because they money's not going to be a thing when a meteor hits everything. Yeah, because they realize how lucky they got. So they're like, no way, I'm like yeah losing this, bro. So we got to do something. Yeah, which I probably do the same. I guess. I don't think so, man. If everyone's dying, I do not want to be uh, the only one left. Well, because what? Like what? You're going to turn on your podcast, talk to no one? <laughs> this is not far off from what I do already on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Once a week on Thursdays, guys, Patreon. Subscribe in the description below. Patreon.com slash OOC pod. Woo! And you can literally see a, someone lose their mind a little bit. Woo! And while we're at it, Rate the podcast five stars on Spotify. We're really trying to reach a certain number. What's that number? I don't even know. 10,000. 10,000? And I think we can do it. <sighs> Seriously, that's, that is a big milestone. But you know what they say? Set big milestones. Big goals. That's not. Uh, you could have done better than that in terms of saying how loose this mic is, man. I'm really frustrated with this. We went. You want to bring up how we went to the mall maybe four times in the last week? <sighs> is that something really. embarrassing to admit? Not really. I don't really want to bring it up, but I can. The problem with it is that we went to the food court every time. That's that's the part that's really a little bit embarrassing. But the Toronto Eaton Center has a really good spread, like or actually, honest to God. And if you get the chance to go while they're closing, you could get some free, not free, but increased portions. Um. I think the malls are I, the malls are very busy. They show in the in media that they're really desolate places, but um, you know, go to one and you'll see many people of many walks of life in there just looking to spend money. And I and I'm happy to see that. Yeah, well, it just means your economy's thriving. That's how I think. I walk through the mall, I see people spend money, and I say, okay, our economy's fine. That's how. That's your litmus. Yeah, of course. Like you, I'm. You know what's the other? Oh, sorry. No, no, you're Did good. I interrupt you. Oh no, you're good, man. That was a little passive there. You're good. You're good. I saw a TikTok where the guy said you should say you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy so much. I know. He's yeah, because he thinks media. he eats, man. He's like this frat boy who comes up with these perfect replies. He has. There's one that killed me. He's like, so this is a new one-liner killer convert. And he's dead serious. He's also like 24. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're at a party. And he always makes up these like super cool scenarios <laughs> where you're gonna use it. Yeah, fantasies. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a there's a type of man who really, really just sucks in real life, so they just fantasize. They're yeah. the ones who are like fantasize about like killing someone if they approach their daughter. Like, yeah. if I had a daughter and you, I would actually kill you. I'm like, bro, <laughs> no one's doing that. You're fine. You're good. You're an electrician, bro. Like, <laughs> no, you're so right, dude. I know so many dudes like that. It's, but I'm, I don't know. Where they live in a from. movie, man. Hey, I guess better than most. Or they just like, or they come out of a scenario thinking it went totally different than what the other person thought. 
Like they'll leave a scenario and well, be the, like, well, only, yeah, I totally killed that. Yeah, the only common theme is that they always lack life experience in like yeah. some regard. Like, no, you haven't been in this scenario because that's not how it would happen at all. Yeah. <laughs> like the one I was about to say is that he's like, okay, imagine your party. A guy comes up and, and, and tries to start a fight with you. Okay, bro. This is all you have to say. Somebody get this guy a water. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if, if I caught someone saying that, crickets. Crickets. I would stab him. <laughs> I would just stab him. <laughs> like UK style zombie knife. Style. Um, no, I think, I don't know who I was talking to. I think I was talking about like the death penalty with someone. Yeah. And I was like, and they were just, they were just speaking so lightly of it. Like, ki like killing someone is like super easy and stuff. I was like, so, I was like, so you'd be able to, to whatever, pull the freaking lever and just like kill the person like sitting in the chair and just look them dead in the eye while you kill them. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's easy. Light work. That might have been me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Was that me? I'm like, dude, you need to think about it a little bit at least. Like, you're going to be, le you're going to watch someone's life leave out of their, like, you're going to watch that happen. Like, come on, man. Was that you? Might have been me. Oh, no. I feel like I might have that position in that. Well, look, I don't, I don't. I wouldn't be. Yeah, I think that, Dude, imagine it's a mass murder. No, I don't. It's not that it's empathetic or anything. It's you're watching someone. Yeah. Literally die in it front of you. It would definitely be out of body experience. Yeah, it's not doubt, like, but, but it's I, not easy either. I don't know if empath empathy is the right word. I think the people who do that are also like crazy. That it was me because I remember you said that, and I'm like, no, nah, it's a job. Like that's a job. Yeah, is it a job though? So I'm the guy who has who does the fantasies. Is, is that what you're? I putting think you me? are, man. I think we just discovered something new only on the Outer Character I do, podcast. Here I'll we go. Do that. I do do that sometimes. You fantasize a lot. I mean, you're. I do you, fantasize a lot. You are someone who 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 has a podcast and stuff. I think you have to like speak vividly and stuff. So, but I don't let it detract. Dude, from Dude, actually, reality. you do. Oh my god, you do. You come home. Okay, you come, come home. Well, this is your home. <laughs> your second home. You, just you slip come home over home. and you'll be like, "Hey, dude, I just had this crazy interaction with, let's say, my realtor. Like, I don't know, you've you you know." Yeah. And you'll be like, and you'll explain your whole thing, like how you just rizzed her up and stuff. And I'm like, and I just can't help but think. That's oh. not how she probably oh saw it. Oh my God, we did get an argument about this because you just didn't believe me. And that's fine. But it did. That's different. You just didn't believe my story. I can't, I'll show you my text with her. It's actually gross. No, keep that to yourself. They're like actually unbelievable text to have with your realtor. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> so I don't there you it. go. Um, I don't want to see it. But I think you fantasize a lot. No, yes. I, have, I have interesting experiences. And, I'm, and then I'm also a good storyteller. So that combination could play into fantasy for sure mm. but i also ha i must embellish i'm talking for two hours a day of course i'm gonna freaking embe you know i have to joe rogan three and a half hours three and a half hour long podcast like four times a week he must embellish for 100 Dude, million I'm trisha I paytas is the is the, is the freaking goat of woman. yapping oh my god who else Dude, Epstein. Uh, whoa! I went to say Einstein. I almost said Epstein. Not too far from each other, though. Are they? Well, n in name wise, Einstein was caught on the island. Imagine you're on the island and freaking Einstein. Einstein is wait. The only difference between Einstein and Epstein is one letter. Maybe they were the same person. Epstein, Einstein. I think it's a couple letters. For swap, you're saying a P for an N. Ein, Epstein, Teen, Teen. They loved teens, underage teens. Teen. teen. Hmm. I don't know. It was there. It was under our noses the entire time. Why didn't anyone think to look? I think also the same breed of the the bug out people here. I'm gonna so I'm I'm excited to to dive into this subreddit. Dude, later today. bug out. What about that one other one where they just think the world is doomed? Is that the one you were on? That's the one that I literally browsed that for like a day. And I that was genuinely, one. I was genuinely sad and depressed. I woke up sad and depressed. I remember you came to me. Or we were and on I said, Hamza, call. I have discovered a you really bad. Like, yeah, it's done. We're done. Cancel the channel. And it's all I literally done. said this because I was like so sad. And, and I was like, what am I doing? I'm just browsing. Red Dude, Reddit's the worst. <laughs> I remember Ask Toronto. I was before I moved to Toronto. I was on oh, Ask Toronto. And it one. is straight up people that it's don't even so live in Toronto. It's depressing though. It's... But then someone will come on and be like, how are you guys making it out here? Yeah. How are you guys paying your bills? I have a six-figure job, and I just got a, a chicken filet sandwich on credit. Like, I'm on afterpay for this Popeye's combo. How are you? And I'm like, 
I just want to know the best parks like to go to. And yeah. Go <laughs> what? There's crazy ones. There's one I, I found out about through, I think, a, a Moist Critical video where he talked about where they just talk about their hatred of dogs. Oh like my visceral God. hatred of dog. Like paragraphs being like, my day was great today. Then I saw this slimy, disgusting, smelly oh, dog. That's the subreddit you'd Loki browse. I just don't fuck with your dog. That's nothing personal. This is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I like I know I like Rudy but when he licks you have to you have to teach him not to lick people I think so it's not it's something like it's it's an anxious response it's an anxious response picture this man okay I'm not reading this is me talking okay nuke drops not close to us though close enough to shut down our power grid we all meet at a park it's nice it's cold but there's a there's an you know, the EMF waves are gone and our brains move in a way that they've never moved. You feel a naturalistic tendency um, take over you. You've got a, a jacket wrapped around your waist. We're talking to each other about foraging. What can we get? Where do we start? Where do we set up base? This sounds like fun. I don't like, I don't like this. I don't like this, Hamza. I don't like this, Hamza. Shut it off. Shut it off. All right. I have to get off a bug out. Um, You're bugging out right <laughs> now. Enough. <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually cool. Take all of Wikipedia with you on a ten dollar USB drive. They Why? Have way, they have a way to get all of Wikipedia on a drive. That's kind of cool, dude. For I would what? Be like for the, what? For what? I would what? be the knowledge trader. I would be the person who trades. Like, here's a Wikipedia. Of you would just give people facts. Yeah. Dude, just talk to any autistic person. They'll hit you with crazy facts. They won't know what we need to know. Who are you going to come to when you want to know, you know, CD, Sydney Sweeney's discography and what she's been in? Here you go. This is where she was born, Nashville, Tennessee. That's information without the internet. It's going to be gone. You know what else? You know what almost got me recently? I was looking into Starlink. You know what Starlink is? Mm -hmm. It's Tesla's Elon Musk. I know. I know. It's the it's the satellite internet. Yeah, but for five hundred bucks, yeah, you can have internet when when the whole when it all goes down. But then who's on the internet? Only Starlink users. That's Only what Elon I Musk supporters. <laughs> You're just going to go into Twitter and it's going to be the exact same. It's just going to be AI generated images of Elon Musk. Uh, uh, Elon man. Musk will save us. Just give him some time. He's probably doomsday prepping. Just give him some time. Yeah. And he's just collecting women from around the world yeah. to just like enslave them. Probably. I mean like five years into the doomsday and people are like, don't worry. Elon said he'll do something. He'll send us to the moon. <laughs> to the moon, please. <laughs> Everywhere we have your luggage from Mars. We got, we Who landed on the moon recently? Japan. Japan. Yeah. Doomsday. See, even they know. They're if, doomsday if prepping. If the Japanese knows, then they're always, you know, ahead of the curve on this stuff. Let's see what you guys are up to. Maybe you guys are in a better mind state, mental state, physical state than us. If you don't know, we do a little advice in the last 20 minutes or so of our podcast. And if you'd like to chime in, private message out of character pod on Instagram and give it a follow as well. That's where we post updates and cool things as well. Here we go. Um, Hamza, will we get the chance to talk to you guys for a bit at the York event? I live a bit far, but I want to come. Um, there will be a bit of a Q&A at the end, but just as far as the Q&A goes. Yeah. You, know, uh, pick, you get a mic, you ask a question. People, yeah, yeah. Things like that. All right. Let's see. Hi, y'all. This is for the advice segment on the podcast. Please don't read out my name. I won't. I have extreme daddy issues with my teacher. Uh, well, read, why, out why, read out her name. Read out her name. Read out Public humiliation kink as well. Read out her name. Yeah, read out her name. No, I'm just kidding. I mean that. And it's mostly because there's severe issues between me and my dad. Oh, man, that kind of grosses me out that you know where it comes from. Like, daddy issues are supposed to be some mysterious thing. Yeah. You're not supposed to be like... You're not supposed to be hyper aware about your like, daddy issues. My dad hates me, so I want to sleep with dads. Like, it makes me feel like you don't have daddy issues then. Whoa. I don't know what to do because I try so hard to get the teacher's, the teacher's attention. When I finally do, I feel loved. Do I have mental issues or what? You know what? I had some of this as well. I've talked about this before yeah, yeah. Um, with my teachers, but it was never um, a sexual thing. It was just a sad child. Um, so, ah. This one sounds sexual for some reason. Yeah. These are the, uh, I think that's the context because they sent the monkey emoji with the hands over it. Oh, so said, wow. Monkey emoji users are the most hand. sexual oh, people. Yeah. So, deviant over here, jail. You should get jail. Um, but, uh, uh, 
<laughs> well, I just did that like I just did a controlled one of that. But uh it's like a talent <laughs> I want to learn how to do. This can be me on the pod on the live podcast. But uh, uh all you're doing is you're setting yourself up so you can say it's a bit when you do it. It's actually, a satire. It's a sat- guys. I'm not actually n- nervous. <laughs> it's a satire. You guys n- know we're <laughs> the best at satire. Um, <laughs> I think. Um, stop. I mean, you're not giving me your age, so I don't have much to work with. I'm trying to, you know, get on it. If you're under 18, like you know, you're gross and um, you're damaged, and you know, if they want to completely take advantage of you they can because you are a child and you know you don't know better so i wish you the best um stay safe stay safe out there please hi hamza and marin so during my junior year of high school i got put into a drama class because i wanted to but because i needed the extra credits not because i wanted to but i needed the extra credits i obviously got to meet a bunch of new people but i also met this guy he was new to the school and i'm a nice person and he also sat in front of me So we would talk often until one day he asked for my snap and I said yes because at this point it was still oblivious to to me the fact that he liked me. As soon as I got home, he texted me immediately if I could send a snap of my face without a mask because at the time we had to wear masks because of COVID. When was this? (laughs) Yeah, COVID. Rue? When was this? Rue? It's a euphoria reference. Oh, Don't reference euphoria. You're 29. If I send him, he asked immediately, asking to send him a snap on my face. I obviously said no, because that's awkward as F. And, like, I didn't even know this guy like that. And then he blocked me, and from that day on, he never talked to me in class again. Which, to be honest, I actually didn't care, but he went on to tell everyone that he likes me so much and thinks I'm so beautiful. And how he fumbled me, but fast forward to now. This freak still texts me on Instagram, what do I do? Block him! Why what are you wasting t- years on you? this man? I only chimed in because she sent screenshots of this person, which is hilarious to me. This is Riz from this person. Um, she said to this guy, "Like, boy, you're actually crazy," and he says, "How? How? Ugh! It honestly sucks that you think that, bro. You know how pretty I think you are, bro." <laughs> <laughs> It's like that one video. <laughs> That's me hyping myself in the mirror. You know how pretty you are, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> That's me hyping you up, and I don't want to be gay. This sounds like this guy. We've been qu- we've been quoting. I reposted his TikTok. I don't know if you saw it. I think it's the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. Go to my t- go to my TikTok and then go to my latest. Go to my TikTok and then go to my latest repost. It's from the Kurdish Prince. You have to see the video, but this is the audio. So basically, bro. If you watch movies, bro, if you, bro, Ed, bro, if you have time to watch movies, bro, bro, you're never going to make it, bro. You're beta. All right. So. All right. Peace. <laughs> He's my favorite TikToker uh, at the moment, but this is what it sounds like. It sounds like him. You know how pretty I think you are, bro. To this day, I still think you're the prettiest girl and you think I'm weird. Like, boy, you never had even had a convo with me. How are you going to say all that for real, for real? I tried to talk to you and failed. Ain't no way I'm a freak. Honestly, just accept my request and follow back. That would be awesome sauce. Come on. Don't hate manipulate. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck you, bro. You're a dickhead, bro. Literally. Block me, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, buddy. You're banned from in and out. On God, you are. Just talk to me, please. I promise I'm not that weird. You're the only MF I'll beg for. Monkey emoji. LMA. All right, whatever. Just know I cheat on my girlfriend for you anytime. Whoa. I'm having trouble not blaming you a little bit as well for just not blocking this yeah, person. Yeah, you like, you you're entertained. Yeah, you're, you're entertained. Bit, you're yeah. entertained. Girl, honestly, what is gonna what do you think is gonna happen from this? Like, you're not gonna tell your kids 20 years from now saying, Oh my gosh, the way me and your father met was so crazy. Look at the messages he was sending <laughs> me. <laughs> bruh, you know you're pretty, bruh. You're the pr- you're the prettiest mo- MF out there. For real, for real. Those have probably (laughs) happened. This is Gen Alpha, like, dating. That's probably Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner, bro, and her DMs. Bro, come on, bro. I'm Willy Wonka, bro. Um, Hey, H&M. But good luck with that. Um, Please block them. That's our advice. Hey, H&M. Homs, that's us. So I'm in a long-term relationship with my girl, Ailing. What does that mean? My girl, Ailing. Ailing. A-I-S-L-I-N-G. But in the last couple months, she's been talking to some dude... With a galaxy cat PFP. 
Is this a troll? It's over. You lost already. <laughs> she met him at a public speaking club that combines all that combines our all girls school with a nearby all boys school. Oh yeah, it is over for you. When she told people about him, when she told people about him, no one acknowledged that she has a significant other because I think they all think we're just joking. But I know it's real. We're not finished. This is reading really weird. I'm having trouble picturing this. Am I reading it wrong? Martin, can you help me? But I know it's real. We're not finished school yet, so I know relationships aren't important, but I see this as forever. Help me, please. I want her all to myself and you guys, too. I think this might be the guy on the other side of that last last advice. I don't like this. I don't like that Let's one either. Let's skip this one. Then it could be the other person. The bruh guy. All right, here's one we actually can chime in on. Hello, my name is Emma. I'm a 19-year-old female from Denmark. My problem is that my queen and the whole country's queen is dethroning herself and will no longer be queen of Denmark. We will instead have King Frederick, a.k.a. Fuckboy Frederick, who cheated on lovely Princess Mary with a Spanish model woman. I am so sad about it. What do I do? This is what I mean by it. It's just like, that's how politics should be. It should be a little fun. Dethroning yourself. Would you dethrone yourself? What would it take to dethrone yourself? What would it take for you to move out of a castle that has like 40 rooms? Dinner with Jay-Z. Dinner with Jay-Z. Is that what the British one did? My flag is asleep. Wow. I miss the days when when you were young. Was it fun to have your leg asleep? Yeah, because it felt like TV static. Yeah, it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've lost that. Now I know what it is. Now I know what it is. Well, now it pisses me off. It's your blood. I'm paralyzed, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Before, I didn't know what it was. It's just the feeling. Did you ever like the feeling of it? Well, I just thought it was so mystical and magical. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Now I know Now I know too much. I know too much. Lobotomy, mm-hmm. Lobotomize me. Lobotomy. Good luck, Denmark. Um, so just send him this clip. Send the uh, king. Send Frederick this clip of us from right here. Hey, Frederick. Look, we know you're in charge now, but just so you know, we didn't forget what you did with that Spanish model. I'm not going to say I wouldn't have done the same, but you are a little, elite, little. You're someone who a, a lot of people look up to and want to be. So it's actually, it is actually really disappointing. In fact, as a matter of fact, it's disappointing. And also I'll say something in Danish. Oh, it's Danish that they speak. Sorry, Frederick. I had a little bit of a sidebar there with my friend. Hey, Frederick, lick my kook. What does that mean? That sounds not right. Kook? That doesn't sound like a nice word. Look it up. Kook? Someone who is, I think someone who speaks Danish or Dutch or something told me that was. So is it Danish? You don't even know what you just spoke. Oh, trust me. He knows what I'm talking about. All right. Good luck with that. Um, Advice request. I am in my last year of secondary school and I have a big crush on someone. I don't know how to start talking to him as we never spoken before. And even should as I don't know if he has a girlfriend. I'm quite... Oh, jeez. This food's ready. I'm quite a quiet person, so I'm probably overthinking it, but I don't know if I should get over the fear and just talk to him, as I'll be finishing school soon. Thank you. I'd like to hear your opinion. Now, Mar and I'll, I'll ask you a question to help this young woman's advice. Okay. If this is you, you're very pretty. You shouldn't... You seem like a... Very Pinterest. This is a crazy Instagram. This is fire. Wait, no. Wait, is this That's real? Adriana Lima. Um, here's my question to you. So I've heard of this phenomena. It's like if you don't get your wife in college and it becomes very hard after or secondary school. That's what it, secondary school is. Second grade is secondary school, high school or, or college. It's high school. God dang it. You thought it was uni? I thought it was uni. I was going to say, first of all, come on. We're adults here. Well, regardless, you can get your significant other anywhere. You can get them at Kroger. Yeah, but mm, I was that changed my advice completely. Because college, right after college, right, there's, it's very hard to find Oh, people. yeah, for sure, because people don't do anything. Yeah, but you still have college coming. Yeah, no. Um, there is a phenomena as well, end of high school, where everyone's kind of slutting out. Yeah, like figuring out what to do right before. Kind of get it, trying to get things done last minute. Yeah, so you wouldn't be the only one. Maybe he would 
wouldn't mind that as well. Go for that. Good luck. I really thought this was it was college. Um, secondary school. I don't like that. There's so much terminal. What would be primary school? Oh, primary school is elementary. Secondary? Tertiary. Tertiary. Tertiary is what we're doing right now, this podcast. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Definitely writing. Can you say that? Can you say it? Let me just sound it out. Assalamu alaikum. There you go. Go ahead. Read the whole thing. Jeff writing from a fake account. Lol. Lately, I've been feeling like such a boring person with a total TikTok personality. Do you recommend any books or sources that might provide an intellectual stimulation? Wow. This is the qu- this is the question of a generation. Do you think we could figure this out on our own? Um, the Quran? <laughs> Not a bad start. Maybe biblical um, Quran, Indo. Indo? Indo? I was going to do like... I was going to... S- I meant to say Judeo-Christian, but I almost said like Indo-California. Just read 48 Laws of Power. <laughs> <laughs> don't re- do not do that. No. You read that, though. So I read that. Um, I think you're doomed. I think uh, we're done for. I think your brain is beyond repair. Um, what you need to do is take, um, you know, 3,000 uh, milligrams of EPAs from omega-3s a day to stimulate your frontal lobe Trace minerals. Trace minerals as well. Um, fully detox, um, what's it called? This type of meditation that Huberman does. Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra. Truthfully, just any, sti- any, it doesn't have to be intellectual fiction, uh, nonfiction. If you're just reading a book, that's, that's, what, that's what it is. That's enough. Um, but I'll, honestly, it's we're doomed. You know what you can do, and I and I've, I I remember people used to do this. Um, they used to set it so that when they open up Google, it would actually open up to Wikipedia. What the hell? Like it'll open up to a random article on Wikipedia. So maybe you can like learn something when you open up your browser. What the hell? Yeah, you can do that. That's interesting. So yeah. so it'll just open up to I don't know, the, you know what is what is that what is that a vase what a are vase. vases what are vases and vases we don't know what are what are cats how do cats talk to each other communicate coffee how is coffee made there you go it's all about new information that's what it is because the way the the way tiktok smooths your brain is it makes it easy to consume because it's the same thing again and again so your brain isn't working hard to consume anything so if i love it i love it it is really fun. It is really fun. You have to admit. But when there's no more wrinkles in, on your head, uh, on your brain, and then it's not going to be as fun. Just try new things. That's actually the best advice. You don't have to get intellectual about it. Even if you join a little new intramural sport nearby, you know, start doing hikes, just looking at new things instead of your phone, your brain will thank you for that. But Dude, what do I we, know? why didn't we not join intramurals? We were supposed to do you that. so hyped about it. I joining. wanted to do that. But then we started actually talking specifics and what sport it would be, and we realized you're not fit for much. <laughs> you're a very aquatic being, and I'm not. I'm not made for the water. You you want to get in the water. I do. I want to swim with you. I don't want to swim with you. Want to play mermaids? No. But it's very talented. I mean, I'm not saying you're... you're I think you're. that's a great thing for you. Um... So one more advice, uh, but thank you for everyone who chimes in. Um, again, Patreon, I do some of my solo advice as well over there, but this is where the good stuff really is. Um, final one. Am I the asshole? Classic Reddit. My friend Abby is mad at me for something I don't even remember doing. The other night, we I went to a party after my rival school's hockey game. All the hockey guys were there, including the boy Abby is talking to. Abby came up to me today saying that she heard I hooked up with her man. I was so gone that I don't remember anything from last night. I know I got with someone because I woke up with hickeys near my chest. As time goes on, I remember certain details, like his chain hanging over me. Oh, what is it? This is the female fantasy. This is what females fantasize about. I feel so bad, but he made me feel so good. I had no control over my actions. 
Should we get the hey. police involved? I don't like this. How do I make it up to her? Nah, it ain't no making up to her. Chain dangling, chain swinging. I don't like that. Yeah. And I just saw your I just saw your collegiate collegiate hoodie you were wearing in your profile and I know what school you go to and and chain dangling and then and I love the way I just bit on his chain and pulled down, pulled him closer. But to I me. didn't mean it. Abby Girl Something wrong with you. You're too young to be devilish that intoxicated. Actually that's when you do it, is when you're very young. But really, is that a thing where you can get really intoxicated and forget who you hooked up? I, that's what people do. I couldn't We're imagine so getting to that level. That world. I've never done that it's before. So it is takes a, it's very foreign to me. Um, I would have to be in such a safe space to do something to my body that would result in me not remembering hours of my life like at all. I would have to be in the safest space. I'd have to Dude, be in a padded room. Dude, that's literally like Xanax. That's mother. like taking Xanax. You literally forget what happened. It's very common. People wow. do this. Guys, drink drink responsibly. That's all I can say. Drink responsibly. Don't don't be doing it. You don't need to be doing that. Don't have you don't have to do you it. You don't need to do that. It's actually it's it's on the downtrend and with the youth yeah. is alcohol. Come on, we know how bad alcohol is. What are we doing? The screen is black now, so you know it's the end of the show. And you know it's serious. And you know this message is serious. It's a serious message. We end off this episode with don't invest in alcohol. Invest in a invest in a in a Swiss Army knife in a hammock for when mm. it really goes mm-hmm. down. What's a, what's a fifth uh, of a tequila gonna do for you when there's no when there's no internet, you know, to post your drunken nights with? Mm-hmm. Only on the Out of Character podcast will you find um, talks about a charitable donation to um, what's it called, homeless people, what's in the called? beginning, homeless. and then at the end, you know, talking about safe drinking and all that stuff, and it's squished, and all this content that's squished in between that, all the nonsense that's squished in between that's only here, only on this podcast. We'll see you guys next week on uh, YouTube Sunday or Patreon Thursday. Bye, guys.